I'm Android 17, and also Psyche's dad, <laughs> and you're watching Anime Egotists. Back to the Anime Egotists, where when we're in the Pokemon movies, we're the smart ones. We just don't feel like helping anyone. You got me, Foster, the champion of Hoenn, and deep down, I don't know how I feel about Ash Ketchum, and I'm joined by my co-host. And I'm Williamson, the uh, champion of Johto. That's right. Hey, and we, you guys know, we, we've been enjoying Pokemon Journeys, but there's also been a lot of talk about characters returning in Pokemon Journeys. Yeah, I mean, some of it is been, I mean, I'm trying to remember who all has already returned. Uh, we've had several gym leaders return, I think, already. Um, anyone else that I can, that you can think of right off the bat? I mean, technically, Karina's grandfather, he's technically him yeah but i from spoiler alert i've been spoiled for a lot of this the upcoming series i know that there are a large number of characters already supposed to come back through this series and so do i which is why none of them are on this particular list but but what the thing for me basically is i've we've said before i don't want pokemon journeys to be known as a series where everybody this character returns and this character returns I want Pokemon Journeys to be its own thing. I'd rather have it focus more on the Galarian aspect of things. But mm -hmm. it is fun to think about what characters we would like to see come back. So we both have lists. Characters we want to see make a return, cameo, appearance, whatever, in Pokemon Journeys. Yeah, and I mean, we I believe we both try to spread it out throughout multiple episodes or multiple series to try to... Uh, get a good mix of characters yeah and just remember right around march time in pokemon journeys will be returning again and we'll be doing our scheduled reviews like we always do mm -hmm. and we also oh, sorry go, go ahead. ahead and of course we'll also have a video um on anything that happens to be announced uh because we're expecting some sort of announcement in the next uh towards the end of this month probably on pokemon day if not we'll wait till there's another there's an actual announcement for anything, but expect a video for us discussing what we would want based on yeah. what's announced. Yes, and because we like to please both the haters and the lovers, I guess. I guess that that's, came across odd, but whatever. So please, we like to please everybody. We're also going to do a list of characters we don't really want to see return. Not that we don't want to see these characters again, but just we don't know if we want them to come back the way that we envision them being written back, if that makes any sense. Yeah, there's uh, not to say that those trainers or uh, those characters will be bad. It's just I don't see a good way for them to be rewritten into the series. Yeah, but overall, I think we're ready. I think we've stalled long enough. So can, may I start us? Please go ahead. Okay. Hey, so I didn't want to, there are some traveling companions on my list, but I didn't want to just do traveling companions, but that would have been too obvious. One character I want to see come back, Barry from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Barry was always one of my favorite rivals growing up. He wasn't necessarily, he was cocky to an extent, but he was also kind of bumbling, which made him a lot more relatable. And But he still had a sense of, like, he was a good person. Like, he was your best friend in the games. And when I first saw him in the anime, I realized they got his character down perfectly. He's rash, impulsive, not very bright at times, but still cares about his friends and his Pokemon. And and considering everybody's been saying Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming eventually, sometime down the line, it'd be nice to see what Barry's been up to this whole time and how many of those fines that he's actually been giving to people to live up to. Yeah, and how much money he's collected from those fines would be He must be rich at this point. I don't know, because when it costs $200 just for one Pokeball, um, yeah, it, it, he may not have that much. Okay, maybe maybe not. But Barry was always one of the more well-done rivals, in my opinion. He was, he was Of course he wasn't. What? What's your problem? I just realized Go is freaking rich. What, makes you, it, what makes you say that? Have you seen how many Pokeballs he's thrown out at times? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, anyways, it would be kind of not. Maybe he and Go could develop a little bit of rivalry when it comes to catching mm -hmm. Pokemon. Uh, maybe he can be like a temporary rival to Go. Oh, and he can just see has he changed all that much? 
but it would be ni- it would just be nice to see a rival who's not a complete dick but at the same time not completely along the friendly lines either yeah i can agree with that i i could see him coming back as there's they're go they're both hunting for some rare pokemon and he and he tries to make it a race to, and he keeps finding go yeah. And Go just hands him the money at the end, as I said, as I have just realized that he is rich. He it's hands over like, yeah. all that money. Yeah, just take it, just take it, dude. Do you know how much the series pays me to be in it? I'm rich. All right. Um, so I guess I'll go with my first one. This one is a little bit of a weird one, mainly because I don't know. I, I'm guessing this area isn't considered canon, but it's okay. Drake from the Orange Islands. Yeah, let's let's just say let's no. Who knows? We'll just just go on. Continue. So, with the Orange Islands being not canon, not really knowing what they are because the anime and manga are so different. Um, he is like the champion of the Orange Islands, but there are only four gym leaders, and then him. I just remember. I mean, the only reason I want him to come back is because I think they could. It, do something interesting and the orange islands had some interesting things with like the pink pokemon uh island and different and different effects from different environments which was kind of the first thing that we started getting galore uh the different forms for pokemon based on the region because i forgot the words so lowland forms so it'd be interesting i think to have them go back there and go thinks that there's it's a full another form when it's really just oh it's just a color difference and (laughs) Hey, it still can be considered rare. But I think that would be a fun little thing. And with him, I'd love to see him kind of in a depression from the fact that he lost to Ash and never was able to win another, uh, I guess, another challenger or something. Just oh. Ash ruining a life. But, I mean, he's yeah. been doing that for years now. Without, like, Let's not act like this is a new revelation. <laughs> True. No, but in all seriousness, I he had a good fight with Ash. I think it would be cool to see him... Um, to do like a Pikachu versus Dragonite again, or Dragonite versus Dragonite now. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's actually that's a really good point. Yeah, I can side with that. Anyways, my next character. Go right ahead. Just so you know, I'm expecting us to have some crossover with some of these, but I, I'm hoping you leave my obvious number one choice for me. But I I'm not expecting you to because we didn't go over a list at the beginning. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two characters so this is kind of cheating and these guys we haven't seen since diamond and pearl so i want to bring them up cassidy and butch okay um i can agree because they were actually on my list as well ah damn it it's all good anyways (laughs) cassidy and butch let's let's face it team rocket has pretty much taken care of every every they've kind of been responsible for the demise of every other evil team team so they don't really have that much competition left. And like we said, we don't really think that Team Yell is going to be necessarily the evil team or whatever. ever Because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to, for them to be feuding with Team Rocket or anything. So it'd be nice to, if they had a little bit of competition. Bring back at Cassidy and her long-standing rivalry with Jesse. That would make their dynamic a little more interesting. And, and of course, bring back uh, Bob. That's his name? No, I think it's Bitch. Jesus Christ. They, they wouldn't say that in the show. Well, but honest, I love their I love their long standing rivalry with our three Team Rocket heroes. Those and I, I just like that at first it showed them completely competent at their jobs, but then they just slowly and slowly started getting more and more incompetent with each appearance. But it'd be nice for Team Rocket to have a little bit more to do. Who and just it's it'd be nice to see them again and just see have they changed all that much. Yeah, I because we've gotten some other kind of people that are supposed to be uh, members of Team Rocket. Uh, uh, Giovanni's assistant has had a somewhat recurring role, from what I can tell. She was yeah. in like the end of the Alolan arcs, and then uh, she's been in at least one episode of uh, Journeys. So she's kind of been one character kind of like that. But yeah, I, I agree. These uh, Butch and Cassidy were much better they were actually competent and kind of rivals for our main cast 
Yeah, plus they were hilarious when they wanted to be. But apparently they were on your list too, so how do you want to go about this? Do you want me to do another one, or do you just... No, I, I had an honorable mention, so I'll knock them off. Okay, no, that's Actually, I had, I had two honorable mentions, so I can... So that's fine. All right, uh, so what's your next fight? Sorry, so... No, wow. <laughs> two doing two videos in one day is not a good idea. Uh, what are the next character or characters you would like to see return in Journeys? So I would like to see... Uh, Lieutenant Surge return. Now, I mentioned that he's probably one of my favorite gym leaders, but part of it is that they had the episode with his, not replacement, but substitute gym leader. So I'd like yeah. to see what he's been doing to train and, and the rivalry could be between his and Ash's Pikachus, or Pikachu and Raichu. Um, having a rematch, I think that could be a really cool uh story because in my opinion that's one of the more interesting gym leaders because again it, it was the start of okay does ash evolve pikachu what's gonna happen yeah before they decide to overuse that plot point because they've done that plot point like six or seven times by this point true but i i think lieutenant surge coming back and being like you know i had to we had to really work hard to get uh right speed up that i uh neglected when i uh evolved him right away yeah i would i feel like surge is one of the more likely candidates to come back if not in journey he's maybe like at, maybe in like the next region or something like that i could definitely see him coming back and also he's like the first gym leader that ash actually beat yeah he really saying, is brock and misty don't count that was that that's even they felt though I, pity. I was about to say, didn't he beat Misty at one point to like officially say, okay, yeah, this badge is mine now? Like later on in the series or something, but... So, so by that point, it didn't even matter. Okay. Because I'm trying to think, I don't know if he, besides that one and Blaine, did he actually beat any of the other gym leaders? Not, Koga, maybe? Not really, no. Anyways, <laughs> hey, so next one? Yes, go right ahead. Okay, the next character I want to... I'm, I'm not going to say... No, I'm going to leave that character off because I know for a fact he's on your list. I'm going to say another traveling companion, Dawn. Okay. Okay, so it's it's kind of been, it's let, let's face it, it she kind of had to be on this list because Dawn, fan, Dawn fans are kind of scary. So had I, she not been on either of our lists or been on the other list, they would, we would have had some problems. But in all seriousness, she really is one of the better done characters. She, it'd be nice to see what she's been doing in all this time. And like we said with Barry, maybe we could get some appearances and kind of hints and wink, wink, nudge, nudge to Diamond and Pearl remakes. But honestly, just the fact, like, I would honestly like to see what her interactions with Chloe would be like, because actually, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to save that point for another character. But just for me, the thing with Dawn is, is I, maybe she could like kind of teach Go some stuff, like kind kind of in the sense of because she was always really nice to her Pokemon for the most part, and mm -hmm. not to say that Go isn't because obviously he is, but maybe there could be a little more instances where she would kind of show him, hey, maybe instead of catching every single Pokemon like that, maybe you could actually bond with some of them or something along those lines. Also, we could get a different perspective, and he could be like, oh. This is something else people could do with their lives. This is some besides just battling, because I'm not battling to be the best. So I think they could have a pretty interesting dynamic. Yeah, I can see it. And Dawn's one of those characters that she was never really, she never had really a bad reaction to anyone. Like, she never treated anyone unfairly, like some of the other characters that are probably on my worst list, even though I have to go back and fix that now. Yeah. Because <laughs> something's been revealed, and I'm kind of annoyed that the that they've already decided that one's coming back. But um, yeah, I can agree with Dawn. Dawn I enjoyed Dawn. Yeah. Yeah, I will say, though, she can return without Piplup. I can't stand Piplup. Yeah. and it, I know that Piplup? wouldn't happen, no, no, but I did not like Piplup. I did not. It was always used as com way too much as comedic relief. And it, it way too much. Yeah. Yeah, and also, just want to throw this out there, I'm not saying I want Dawn back so she and Ash can reunite. Like, I don't I don't care about that part as much. I don't care. Yeah, guess what? He's still 10! Yeah, and even if he wasn't, he's not smart. He wouldn't be smart enough to figure it out. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
Anyways, what's your next what's your next character? I didn't say fight this time. I guess I'll continue kind of the trend of uh, with the possibility of Diamond Pro remakes and having them bring Paul back. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, he was not he was nowhere on my list. The main reason I'm putting him on here is because I would be interested to see like the opposite of what I joked about with uh, Drake, where Paul lost to Ash in the finals and to see if he's changed like actually for good or if he's gone back to being a uh, jerk to everybody and all his Pokemon or if he's actually grown because they started to show that towards the end with him kind of thinking maybe I'm not doing this right and yeah so to see his growth might be an interesting way and again leading into the possibility of Diamond and Pearl remakes I could see them doing it yeah I, I think I would definitely be okay with seeing Paul back. I don't... Here's the thing. I wouldn't want him to come back as, like, a full-time rival or an on-and-off rival. It would just have to be, like, a cameo, but like, an episode, two, maybe three. But, yeah, I'd like to see what Paul's been up to. I guess my only, like, kind of issue is, since Diamond, since Pokemon's changed a lot since then, and we, we've said before that Journeys and Sun and Moon are kind of the same in some aspects, but... In my opinion, I've said that the comedy in Journeys is better than the comedy in Sun Moon. I wouldn't want them to make Paul too comedic nowadays. I'd want him to keep a little bit of an edge, like a little bit of seriousness. Every now and then he can be funny, but you know what I mean. Yeah, the main reason I'm putting him on here is just because I enjoyed him as the serious rival, the, okay, I'm doing things my way, which is the opposite of what everyone is told in Pokemon in the games and all that. You have to have friendship with your Pokemon. Well, no, no. In his case, they're tools for winning his battles. I mean, to be, I mean, in Paul's defense, he did win a lot of his battles. So true. You know, anyways, that's a good stuff. I I can co-sign to Paul. All right. Okay. Oh, damn it. This is, this is the character who I told you, I feel like is on your list, but I might as well just come out and say it. Go right ahead. Richie. Actually, no. Son of a bitch. Really? He's not on yeah. your list? No. Like, not even an honorable. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I, I debated him, but I, I just chose not to put him on there. Oh, wow. Now I feel now I feel weird. Okay. So, Richie is one of those rivals who, as a character, wasn't necessarily all that interesting, but is still beloved by the fan base. He's, he's a good trainer. He has a lot of different variety with Ash's poke. Like, he'll have a lot of the same Pokemon. But one, they might actually listen to him. And two, it's just like different stuff. Like, had he caught a Lycan Rock, it wouldn't have been the exact same Lycan Rock that Ash had, the exact same form or anything. <laughs> so it'd be kind of nice to see somebody from Ash's really early days, it's who we haven't seen in years at this point. It'd be nice to see just how much he's changed. Like, how much he's changed. Has Richie got a little bit of an ego nowadays? What's his, what's Sparky been up to? It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Heck, maybe a little... I know this might not be the most popular choice, but I could see them maybe even doing something where they're like, you know what? I'm going to evolve Sparky, and we're all going to be like, uh, why? Like, it, even if it's not the best idea, it's still it's still something to think about. Like, mm-hmm. at, like they, if they really want to do this for the 10 million time, it actually be like, huh, well, if his, right, if his Pikachu evolved, maybe it's time for my Pikachu. And then at the end, he's just like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm like, Ash, you, this isn't dramatic anymore. So... I, but still, joking aside, it'd be nice to see Richie again, especially considering in how early it was in the show he first appeared. Yeah, I think the last thing we ever saw with him was he had a Chronicles episode. Oh, good lord, Pokemon Chronicles. That, that, that's, that's something we could talk about in a completely different video. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I can co-sign on to him. Again, I considered him for uh, this list because uh, he appeared in a the tournament arc in uh at the end of the Kanto series and then um about i think it's five or six episodes of the johto series and then he had his own episode in chronicles i don't think he's appeared since then yeah not to mention that he had that he also had a lot of interactions with cassidy and butch so you could even bring them back in the bring all three of them back in the exact same episode and it would make perfect sense i would love it if um uh, Butch and Cassidy are doing uh, the exact same thing as our Team Rocket, just they're they're not going for Ash's Pikachu, they're going for Richie's Pikachu. And all of the meetup is just like, whoa, you're here, you, you know what, forget, you know what, forget it, we knew about this, just blast some Pikachu or something. 
Yeah. And I did like that he nicknamed all his Pokemon, uh, like Zippo the Charmander. Um, I was about to say, I, I remember Zippo and I remember Sparky and that's, I remember nothing else. He, I know he nicknamed his Pidgeotto or whatever po- flying Pokemon he had, but it was some really weird name. Yeah, well, but if you're going to have all a lot of the same Pokemon as Ash, you're going to need something to make them stand out. So I can I can understand that. Plus, he was smart. He he had his Pokeballs labeled so that he knew which ones were actually his versus everybody else. And nobody else does that, yet they just magically get it. I swear I'm waiting for I'm waiting for somebody to, fu- to completely screw up with that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, I completely agree. Well, I'll yeah. sign off on that. Yeah, go right ahead to your next one. All right. So my next one is uh, Kurt, the Pokeball uh maker from oh yeah the Kyoto series yeah <laughs> go ahead i just like all the specialty pokeballs and that's probably why i want to bring him back so that they can get something because i think that that could i could feel that being an episode based on how journeys has gone ash mentions that he's uh caught a totodile in a special pokeball go wants to go catch uh some the johto starters and then they stop by kurt and uh, get, and he gives Go like a set of all the special Pokeballs. Yeah, I was about to say, because I don't recall if Go has used anything other than just regular Pokeballs. I don't feel like he has. He hasn't, but I think this would be a cool way of doing that. Plus yeah. they could bring in the GS ball, which was a dropped plot point that I'm still pissed off about. Yeah, yeah, they, they, I, was about to say, I was about to say, I feel like Akira Toriyama would remember the GS ball before they would at this point. Yeah, so in all honesty, though, plus it could be if they wait till towards the end of this series, they could do it as an event again, somehow. Yeah, yeah and like they also do like a little bit of con- like, for example, like the Magikarp diving episode or something. The perfect prize for that would be like some type of special Pokeball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like uh, make it, just make it fun and bring back this because it was a really interesting concept because I know. Ash has Totodile, Misty caught Corsola, and then Brock caught uh, Pineco, and then had Fortress in their specialty Pokeballs. But I really like their designs because they're different. And yeah, yeah, definitely. And and even then, though, Go would just use regular Pokeballs or whatnot because he likes frustrating us. He seems to like frustrating the audience. Mm-hmm. Especially when he throws thousands and thousands of dollars of them away. Yeah. yeah. But before we we get upset, do we have honorable mentions? Uh, yeah, I've got uh some honorable mention, or I've got one honorable mention. Yeah, okay, because we had Cassidy yeah. and Butch. That was one of your honorable mentions. Yes. Okay. Go, what's your What's your next honorable mention? So, um, my next one is Elaine from uh X and Y. Is it Elaine or Alon? Alon, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm not. So I'm not asking to get on you. I'm just legitimately couldn't remember. I can't remember either, but I think it's a lawn, but either way, go ahead. He there. He's just a good, he was a serious rival and I liked him uh, because he still had a sense of humor. He wasn't bad natured about it. He was, but he was a good rival for Ash. Yeah. Despite the fact that he had no real reason or no real logic winning that tournament, but Hey, Mm -hmm. again, that's probably where Ash should have won especially because he could have had a six on six battle to win the tournament versus having a three on three or whatever it was. To I'm telling the other you, one. He, sh- he should have either won at Johto, Sinnoh, or Kalos, and he won at none of them. Yeah, and, it, and it, each of those could have been a good ending to bring in a new character. Like uh, we've been saying for... Forget it. Forget it. Another video coming out soon. Oh my goodness. Alon. Anyways, yes. With this cool Mega Charizard, he did... He did I did really like the Mega Evolution specials that were kind of, I don't want to say they weren't canon, but they were kind of side stories. I was always really confused when they first came on, because when I first started watching them, I didn't see the first episode, but so all of a sudden I just saw the second episode after Ash like, won a gym badge or something like that, and I'm like, wait, what the, who, the, who is this? Uh, but I immediately fell in love with the character and everything. Would he bring back, what's the other girl's name? Probably, she would probably come back with, uh, him unless they're they can come up with a good reason why not to have them both come back together and her she had a chest pin correct 
Yeah, so I could see it being the mid stage now evolution for her. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna pretend like I know what it is. Um, I just know it looks like Gengar but green, and it has a long nose. Yeah, basically. That's all that. I know. Okay, I can't. Fi- okay, I can't find her name. Let's let's just call her Sammy for now. Yeah, she was in all the same episodes a lot. Marin, that's her name. Marin, there you go. <laughs> hey, thank you, Bulbapedia. Again, I don't know if he. Th- this is kind of the same vein as paul though i don't know if he would fit with the new art style and ser- and less serious nature that the series went in the uh year that uh from his series so yeah but like i said it's just an honorable mention so that's fine okay mm-hmm. so th- if you know me well enough you should know this has to be on my list arbok and wheezing the balls this show had uh, to be like for, first of all i just want to say that i find it really funny that everybody gets sad about ash lo- letting go of his pokemon even though he straight up lies to their faces and says hey i'll see you again really soon and i'm like no you won't you liar here but jesse and james and i guess technically mia let go of arbok and the wheezing and it's like it like it's talked about but people don't really talk about it that much compared to all the other times ash and everybody else have let go pokemon So, I'm not saying I need them to come back full-time, but I would like them to come back. They they have a tearful reunion, including everybody in the audience crying. And and maybe they just get sent to a certain spot of, okay, we'll send you back to headquarters, or in James' case, we'll send you back to, I guess, wherever his butler or whatever live, and you guys can live there. That way, like, it'd be nice to see them again, and it would give us some closure to what happened to them. So instead of us wondering the whole time, where are they? Where are they? Now we know, oh, they're safe. We're, they're good to go. Plus, it would be nice to see Weezing interact with the Galarian Weezing. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. It makes a really good honorable mention. What I was thinking, send them both. James finally decides, you know what? I, my butler's here at this house we never, my family never uses anymore. I'm like send, the seventh one? Well, it's what, I think it's in... Uh, Sino, I think. Yeah, but he. It's. I'm saying his, he uh, seems Chimeco. to have. He. Yeah, he seems to have a lot of them. But go ahead. Sure. And send, but all of them there, including the, uh, coughing and the Ekans that were with them. That's fine. Fu- that's fine too. I didn't think about that. That's fine. Because th- that would really show the part of Justin James that we see on an occasion where, they're bad guys, but they're not bad guys. Yeah. Also, I want the hunter in that episode to show up purely so they can put me in the show and I can kick the snot out of him. You don't need to kick them. Jesse and James need to do it with Arbok and Weezing. I was about, fi- fi- fine, but I get one. Fine, but I get one. Can we compromise on that? Can we compromise? Can I get one shot in, and it's not me. It's me doing in, in Otis's worm. I learned I learned the worm from WWE superstar Otis, and I just do that move to him. That's all I ask. I'm fine with that. Okay, good. But so, <laughs> this is weird. My next honorable mentions are, once again, multiple characters, but I feel like it still works. Because you can't really have one without having the other two. Mm-hmm. Tierno, Shauna, and Trevor. Okay. These are probably three of more of my favorite characters in X and Y and just in Pokemon the last several years because they're nice characters, which we've said before, get kind of on our nerves sometimes, but they all have personality. They all have something that makes them unique. Tierno, especially in the bat in the battle during the tournament where he completely won us over, or it would just be nice to see all of them and what they're up to again. Like, see... He, and maybe Go could learn some strategies from, like, Tierno's dancing ability. Or maybe we could I, see how... Sorry, go ahead. I would think he would get along with um, Trevor a bit more. Yeah, because yeah, Trevor's that, trying to take a picture of all the Pokemon or something, isn't he? Or what, yeah, what was yeah, his that's, goal? Oh, I was get, I was get, oh, yeah, that would have been my next point. It would have been, like, Trevor... Or, oh, he wants to take pictures of all these Pokemon. I'm going to catch them all. Maybe we could learn some stuff. Because Go just sort of seems to show up and, like, Pokemon, boom. While Trevor will like lay out some food or something, and, or I, I want to say trap, but just some bait, and then he'll take pictures of them. So maybe he could learn something along the lines with that. Sha- Admittedly, I don't know how much Shauna would have to do with them, but it, like I said, it, it would feel weird leaving her out. My main thing is that I've kind of included her in a category on my other half of this list. Oh, uh, I- I'll explain why in that video but oh lord 
Um, but I can agree with that they they are among the better, more interesting characters, mainly because I think they had more episodes uh, than a lot of other, not rivals, but other recurring characters. Yeah. And, and, they, they, and plus they, they plus they were far better done in the show than they were the games. The games, the games just make me sad. Yeah, and most of the time I can only think of um, the Nuzlocke I watched of them with uh, the or not Nuzlocke, um, Soul Link uh, with between Shady Penguin and uh, the King Nappy hmm. that uh, they gave Shauna like the deepest male voice possible hey they can do that too they can do that too oh but also we need to learn how the hell shauna gets her hair like that it's really something that's been bothering me like <laughs> come on get, get let us know your secret all right do you have any more honorable mentions i do but i'll be quick about them harley the cacturn dude Okay, this is also kind of considered in my other list. Son of a bit, what, whatever. Wait, you know, I'll, I'll explain later when we get to that list. Okay, I mainly like Harley because, well, he's not necessarily a villain. He, he's just so petty that I find it kind of hilarious. Yes, I think his voice actor does an excellent job with him. Like I said, his pettiness knows no bounds, and I kind of got to respect that. Also, he's just a he's a hilarious character, and while. Here's the, like I wouldn't know who he'd be feuding with at this point. It would be it would just be nice to see like like a two second cameo of it, and, and maybe he gets mad at Go for catching something that he was gonna catch or something like that, and Go is just too oblivious to know that he even hates him or something like that. It would be it could be a funny moment. Yeah, I could see the sarca him going very sarcastic uh, when he gets annoyed that Go caught it, and then goes like, "Oh, thanks for congratulating me." <laughs> And then oh, Harley just storms off. He's just like, you know, you brought me back for this. No, no, I quit. I quit. Call, call me next season. But, and of course, as I said, I'll. I'm not going to sign off on that mainly because I've got a reason for not wanting the characters to come back for some. Things, that's fine. But... And my last honorable mention is oddly enough, somebody voiced by Harley's voice actor Conway. Oh, okay. Oh. Do you remember? Con Do you? Oh, let me yes. Go. Okay, I remember him now, and I remember if I remember correctly, he was on my. I don't like him. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't remember if you didn't like him or not. But le okay, let let's just clear this. Thing. Do Do you? What do you remember about Conway? He was the guy with the glasses in the um Sino. Who he was like, he was supposed to be like uh I guess a, like a po not a Pokemon collector, but um the schoolboy kind of thing yeah where he's supposed and he, to have knowledge about pokemon and he was kind of creepy yeah he always appeared behind dawn or something oh no i thought i i look look, look well first of all it would work perfectly for if dawn came back Har well, not harley conway just pops up like it's just like so what you guys up to and everybody freaks out like oh my god are you following us and he's just like no i just i just happen to be here here. So here's he's one of the funnier characters. I kind of like how there's a little bit of an element of danger, but at the same time, there was that one episode where he was kind of a scaredy cat. Honestly, I think he works. His character works perfectly for the journeys format. Even if you don't like his character, it kind of works for journeys in its sense of humor. I can understand that. Um, again, he wasn't my least favorite character because I don't really hate any. Uh, characters i can think of uh, except for maybe one in pokemon um well two two i can think of two that i actually hate and everybody else is i just don't like them as much as everybody else yeah that's kind of how i feel um but yeah is that both of your honorable mentions those are all of my honorable mentions so i can finally get into my last one go right ahead the one i real the character i want to see come back more than anybody may okay okay so here's the thing here's the thing we've seen it a lot of people were kind of surprised that may he didn't make an appearance in not what not sudden moon uh x and y because that was the also the generation where we got ruby and sapphire remakes but i kind of think they made the right call holding off just a little bit we get to see her first we get to see her new design and once again we get to see her new design. We get to, like, explore how much better or even potentially worse she's gotten. Also, remember, very early on, 
May didn't really know what she, she wanted nothing to do with Pokemon. And as the story progressed, she got more and more into them and she actually found what she wanted to do. So that could be that would be an amazing way to kind of show Chloe. Maybe you don't want to do anything with Pokemon, and that's fine, but your mind could always change. So have have your options available. Yeah, I can understand that. I, I think they would have a good dynamic. Um, I am, though, disappointed that she didn't show up in X and Y, because I could have seen that she won some sort of contest and got tickets to come to the big city in Kalos, where she competes against Serena in one of the contests that isn't or whatever, uh, it's not contest. Showcase? Showcase. Because it's similar enough. Yeah, but, it, okay, my question with that, though, who wins that? Someone else. Okay, I was about to say, because <laughs> I'm still mad. I understand that when they were doing Dawn's Crisis of Confidence story, that they had to have her beat May. But come on, you can't have, But May's been losing so many big contest battles at the end. She, she, needs, a ma- she needs a major win, but uh, I can understand that. Also, maybe we can, also we uh, uh, killing two birds with one stone. We can get May back, and she can inform us what's been happening with Max. But we don't actually have to see Max. We don't get. We don't have to get him back. Yeah, I mean, unless they were able to do his character right, uh, which, which was could. a handful of episodes. Maybe uh, May went back and got the Ralts for him, kind of like how they had Bonnie have uh, Pachirisu. Yeah. He's got the Ralts now. Yeah. And may, and like I said, if she's gonna come back, she comes back. Maybe she brings a friend with her. Maybe this friend has a white hat. Maybe this friend wants to be a champion. Maybe his name is Brendan. Maybe he shows up. Maybe he becomes the main character. Maybe we finally get something with him. I think he just threw his phone, guys. So he. <sighs> okay. You know, I don't ask for much. I, I'm a good person about twelve percent of the time. <laughs> So just, Brendan, if you hear this, man, like, just, what? (laughs) If if you hear that, I, uh, just Pokemon, just, just throwing my shot out there. If you need somebody to voice Brendan, I'll do it. You don't have to pay me as much as everyone else. Just put him in the show. Put him in the show. Not a camera. Like, put him. Yeah, May, May, May. Just, let's move on. Yeah, and she's one of the better uh, companions, so I can understand that. Yeah. So... I think these two characters would be absolutely perfect for, uh, even in the new show's format, um, from when they started. And that's okay. Clement and Bonnie. Woo! I love, I, I, I considered putting them on my list, but the, I'll get into why I didn't in, 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 once you're done. Yeah. I just think they could, they can still do the jokes about, uh, the future is now thanks to science. And then it blows up and that could still be work in this version and it's yep. still funny and it would work and i think it would just they're characters that would really fit and they're really enjoyable characters so i would i would love to see them come back to the series yeah when i first started watching x and y i was surprised how much i liked clement and bonnie like clement really grew into one of my favorites but bonnie in particular surprised me i thought i was gonna find her annoying at first but i'm like no she's She's actually a really likable character. She, like, I like the the episodes about her because she's kind of maturing, but still not too much. Like, she still feels like a little kid at heart because <laughs> her maturing too much would have been kind of weird. She yeah, is I mean, one, she's supposed to be five or something yeah, like that. something like that. Uh, she actually, out of all the, because as we talk about, the, when people sing in Pokemon, it's kind of weird. But her song with, uh, about Squishy actually helped. Like, it actually led to some really kind of chilling moments, especially towards the end when the whole world was falling apart. So maybe we get to see how much, like, has she changed a little bit? Has she gone back to the whole, oh, I need to find a woman to get take care of Clement, even though they kind of got rid of that? But just, it would be nice to see those two again. It really would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just... I feel that they still would fit, even though they were in a, what was a more a slightly more serious version of the series, only slightly because there were still comedic elements and it's not like anyone died or anything. But yeah. in here, they just fit. Yeah. Plus, we could get a crossover between in Clembot and Francois the Magnemite. 
it's perfect. Yes. And I guess I guess since I kind of have to address this, one of the, the reason that they weren't really on my list is because I look, we we love X and Y. I love X and Y. It's I think it's all, like nearly the perfect series. And full this, this is where I kind of lean back on one of the jokes. I don't hate Serena. I enjoy Serena's character quite a bit. <laughs> She's not my favorite, but I do enjoy her character quite a bit. The only reason why I was kind of hesitant with Clement and Bonnie is because I wouldn't want them to come back with Serena, like all three of them, even though it'd be nice to see the four characters together again. I wouldn't want Serena to overshadow Clement and Bonnie. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can understand that, where they're not... that they would probably bring groups of characters back together, and yeah, I, I can understand why. Yeah, because, I, like I said, I like Serena's story. I like everything about it. Uh, but I, I would want them to focus more on her character and the story and not so much, well, the the obvious part of Serena's character if you want to enlighten our audience. There's a whole end scene at the end of X and Y. Just go back and watch that. Yeah. That pretty much sums everything up. Yeah, and I'm just like, I, and I remember when we first saw that scene, we're like, oh, Okay. Hey, meanwhile, everybody on the internet was having a heart attack about it. It's like they're ten. I was about to say, and, te- and technically, and technically, we didn't see it. Maybe she headbutted him. He is very red in the face after it, if I remember correctly. So yeah, yeah it could be a headbutt. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, that makes that makes sense to me. Right, that or she bit him, like bit him on the nose or something. Mm, who knows? That's for writing me out of the show, you jerk. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Pokemon Masters now, and grow my hair back. All right, um, but what did y'all think of our choices? Were they good characters that we think that should return, or are they bad choices? And if you have if you have reasons other than ours for like maybe you agree with ours, but you have different reasonings for it, let us know. Let us know, please. <laughs> Furthermore, would you like to see us in Pokemon Journeys? The answer is no, but it I, it would be a funny few banned episodes because there would be a lot of swearing. Especially when things don't go right. Yeah, it's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Things seem to go right for everybody. like a little, Especially if you're a main character. And especially if you're Go. God, no, that episode I'm th- that I keep thinking about. I feel like I know the episode, but anyways... He's just bottle bottle that rage. We'll get to it. We'll get to it in our review. And also we'll get into it when we talk about we'll get into a little bit of anger when we talk about characters we don't want to see return. Yeah. But anyways, just let us know. Alright, this has been Williamson. And it's been Foster. And you've been watching the anime egotists. And if you disagree, you're wrong. <laughs>